Hey guys, Paris Valentino here from Crusader Caravans Melbourne and today we're going to be looking through our CRV Esperance. Let's take a look. start at the top of the van with our standard 50 mil ball coupling and our handbrake here we have our seven pin plug we have our gray anderson plug as well moving on down we have our bm pro trail safe breakaway system as well as our safety chains here on display with our matador chain and hook as well as our alco jockey wheel moving down to the left just there you can see our a-frame tap and our two nine kilo gas bottles for all your gas needs moving on round, we're going to go to the offside We've got a tunnel boot on the offside. Yes, we do. We have a tunnel boot. How about you? Nice and spacious in there. We have our 240 and gas hot water service by Swift. We've got our double glazed Dometic windows up there as well. We're going to do a little moonwalk back and we have our one water infill here for our one 100 litre fresh water tank that comes standard on the CRV Esperance. We're going to do a little turn. We're going to do a little shimmy back and you can see our power inlets here as well as our circuit breaker that comes standard and we've got our Dometic fridge vent for you as well. We're going to drop down. Oh, nice. We've got our 15 inch wheels and primal tyres over here, as well as our checker plate wheel spats. Nice. Moving on round, we have our Crusader branded mud flap for you. And if we move along the van, we've also got our drop down legs, which are, of course, on either corner of the van. That's four in total. This bad boy here is our Thetford toilet cassette that is Thetford in this van. Moving on up, we're going to go to the rear of the van. All right, here we are at the rear of the van. As you can see, we have our rear mounted spare tire here on our rear bumper bar. You can see that this currently is being dressed with our Crusader Melbourne spare tire cover. If you need to give us a buzz, zoom in there, give us a buzz on that number, Ask for Paris, I'll help you secure a new CRV Esperance. Above me, you will see there is a Bluetooth reversing camera. Now this is not standard. This is an upgrade that this customer uh, and this owner of the CRV Esperance has added. Uh, I would always recommend adding the reversing camera to the CRV Esperance, but once again, it is not a standard feature. All right, we are going to stop the tour segment for a brief moment, have a quick one-to-one -one chat uh, as I break the fourth wall and talk about many of the perks uh, of our CRV Esperance. So the beauty of this van is that it is a fully Australian Australian made product. It is accessible, it is lightweight and it is incredibly easy to use. With that in mind, let's talk about weights. We have a max ATM here of 1800 kilo. We have an approximate tear weight of 1300 kilo, giving you an approximate payload of 500 kilo, all within a 13 foot caravan. That is a massive payload for such a small van. With that in mind, this van is really moving towards the future. With those electric vehicles coming into the market, we have smaller vans coming into the market for families that want to downgrade. They don't want to upsize and get a ute. They want to downgrade, but still be able to enjoy the freedom of caravanning. This van is perfect for that. With that in mind too, for those uh, camper trailer adventurers that are, are sick of the, the setup and are sick of the pack down once they get home drying it out and things like that, this van is also a perfect upgrade for you. You have about 10 minutes between setup with the drop down legs and having a beer in hand. Super easy setup, once again, approximately 10 minutes before you've got that beer and you're finally enjoying your time away. This caravan here, is truly no compromises. It's perfect for the minimalist, but once again, a 500 kilo payload gives you a good amount to bring away with you. Make sure you've got everything you need to enjoy your perfect time away. And that's why the CRV Esperance is one of the best, most accessible, lightweight vans on the market for you today. All right, we are on the CRV Esperance. If you've got yourself a sunny day like today, you're going to want to grab that short man stick and wind out that awning to enjoy your sunny day. Block that sun from getting in your eyes with our Fiamma F45 awning. We've got an annex light here, shining light, shining bright, and you've also got one down the other side of the van. And of course, we've got our Bargman handle with our light. Oh, look at that, shining bright once again at night. We've got our entrance door here with... <gasps> 
our security screen. Looking good, looking funky fresh. Gonna close that bad boy up. Close her up. Hello again, it's me. We have right here an external power point. This is not standard. This is an extra that has been added to the caravan. We've got our standard picnic table there. Yes, that comes out. You've got yourself a table. We've got our NCE external speakers. Nice and well placed there, looking good. We've also got our TV hutch here with our bracket for our TV. You'll see here, we've got our compliance plate right there. We've got our 12 volt and we've also got our 240 with our aerial jack for our aerial jill. Yes, we do. All right, moving around, you will see this van currently has a slide out kitchen from Swift. Please note, this is not a standard feature of this caravan. This customer has opted for a bit of outside external cooking for beautiful sunny days like today, but this is not standard. This is an upgrade. But but conveniently, if you add one, we have our gas bayonet just next to it for easy use in and out. You don't have to go under the van and anything like that. Nice and well placed, convenient for all. And I'm going to get inside and show you that. Well, hello there. Here I am. You will see the beautiful bedding behind me. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about while I'm down here on the ground. So this customer here with the beautifully dressed bedding behind me has opted for a fixed caravan queen in this van. Now that is an option. However, that is not standard. This caravan comes standard with two single mattresses, six foot two long in length, and they are two singles either side, but they can be zipped together to make a caravan queen. With this van, you have the beautiful versatility. You can have north-south bedding, you can have east-west bedding. If you're going away for a boys' weekend and you don't feel like spooning, separate the beds, you've got two singles. If you're going away for a girls' weekend, you can separate the beds and have two singles. If you want the dog to sleep on the bed, you can sleep on the floor and the dog can sleep on the bed. You do you, whatever you need. The CRV Esperance and our CRV range offers really versatile bedding. Um, you'll see some more videos online, especially in the link below, just showing you the various options that you have available to you in your CRV Esperance. And this customer you will see to the left of me has also up or upgraded their fridge. This is a 188 litre compressor fridge. However, that is not a standard feature. The standard uh, van features a smaller fridge and the microwave up top but this is not the standard setup i'm going to get up off the floor and show you the rest truly no privacy no this is just to prove that you can fit two people in our toilet shower combo in the crv esperance so with this bad boy you have as you can see here a beautiful ensuite window double glazed dometic window giving you a nice view and some lovely sunshine you've also got in here a little midgy proof screen and you've also got that block out privacy screen uh, should you not want to stare out the window, want to block the sun. You've got our stainless steel tapware and of course a lovely little basin and oh look at that water running, gorgeous. As you saw here, look at that, you've got that shower screen as well helping uh, reduce water getting onto the toilet and the overhead cupboard which I'm going to show you here. Look at that, space for days. I'm going to close that bad boy up and as you will see too, we have our Thetford toilet here. That is our Thetford cassette toilet. Once again, proving you can comfortably fit two people in our toilet shower combo. I'm gonna step on out and show you the rest of the van. <gasps> oh, just joking. That's just my reflection, guys, because we have in our 13 foot caravan, a full length mirror. That is the door to our toilet shower combo. And watch this, one, two, Three steps and I'm in the bathroom, three steps and I'm washing my hands, three steps and I'm having a shower because it's so well placed and you have no compromises in this 13 foot caravan. We're gonna do a little dance and go to the back. We have a full internal cooking space in this 13 foot caravan. With that in mind, look at this. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cupboards in this CRV kitchen. You have one, two, three overhead cupboards in our CRV range. That is maximized storage in such a small caravan. You also have up here, one, two, three, four gas burners, and you've also got a grill in our kitchen here. Once again, no compromises, and you've even got a sink. Can you believe it? Look at that stainless steel sink. We're gonna drop on down and gonna show you our incredibly spacious pot drawers. You will see here, what does that sound like? What does that sound like? It doesn't sound like chipboard to me. It sounds like polycomp. It sounds like plywood because we have no compromises here. 
Alrighty friends, we are going to jump into the battery management system in our CRV Esperance. Let's take a look. You will see up here we have our BM Pro Aspro display. This is currently uh, with a 120 AGM battery. Now that comes standard with this caravan. You have a 1 120 AGM battery and you will see it is currently discharging. The solar here, we have one 170 watt solar panel on the roof. And here you can see your water tank levels. In this caravan, once again, you have a one 100 litre fresh water tank as standard. Now, I'm gonna do a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy to the bed, 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 and I'm gonna take a seat. And that, oh, she's comfy. I'm gonna have a little nap. Alrighty, as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four cupboards here. I'm gonna pull it out. <gasps> Hello. Oh, once again, what does that sound like? Oh, it doesn't sound like chipboard, does it? No, because it's polycomp, it's plywood, because we do not mess around here. You'll also see for, once again, highlighting the lack of compromise in this caravan. We have shelving, we have cupboards, we have it all. You don't need to compromise. You can bring what you need with you. I'm gonna shut that bad boy up. Look at that. And up to the right of me, you will see we have our NCE entertainment system. They've got two internal NCE speakers and our radio system as well. Above my head, we've got the Bel Air reverse cycle AC. And here, oh, look at that beautiful blue sky. You've got a beautiful little sunroof hatch to watch the clouds pass you by on a beautiful summer's day. To the left of me, we've got a smart TV. Doesn't she look intelligent? Yes, she does. Oh, and watch this. Oh, where did it go? I don't know. Look at that once again. Practical, no compromises. Pop her away. Enjoy your summer's day. All right, behind me here, we've also got two reading lights. You've got 12 volt USB points in both of those reading lights for easy charging and convenience. Behind me as well, you'll see once again, one, two, three overhead cupboards. Once again, maximizing that storage in such a small space. This is our CRV Esperance. Of course, it does have a few upgrades that this customer has chosen to do. So please see those upgrades. They are not standard on this caravan in the description below. We're gonna pop them all there just so you know what's standard and what is not. Feel free to give us a call, like, subscribe, more videos to come, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye guys.